Good morning, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to the vlogs. Today's vlog, we are doing a major glow up. I look like a troll doll right now. <laughs> I feel like the hair is really giving me troll doll energy. I'm very pale. I'm just not feeling myself. So we're gonna do a little glow up because I just wanna feel better. I think it's mostly because I'm getting my period soon. So I always feel like very low energy, very low confidence right before then. So we're gonna do some things to make myself feel better. First up, we are doing some fake tanner. So over the years, I've tried a lot of different fake tans out, but I will say my favorite one that I've like stuck with consistently is the Pita Jane tan. I feel like it gives me like the most pretty, like natural looking tan. It doesn't smell bad. And I feel like it like goes away nicely. It doesn't like get all patchy and weird. So I'm gonna go in with the Pita Jane dark tanning mousse. I love this stuff. I will tag like everything I use in this video below just so you guys can find it easily um but that is what i'm gonna go in with and i'm gonna use a little tanning mitt apply this all over my body it is way too hard for me to film <laughs> tanning because i'm not trying to flash you so just trust me this is what i'm using i'm gonna apply it literally all over my body i also have this really cool thing it's like a long tanning mitt so then you can tan your back without needing help from anyone so that's a cool little 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 tool to use if you're a fake tanner Anyways, I'm gonna tan and when I'm back, I won't be as pale. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like this is a major jump scare. Um, tanner is applied. I forgot I have like some dry skin where the pimple patches I was using last week ripped my skin off. So hopefully when I wash the tanner off, I don't have a darker circle there, but we'll see. <laughs> um, but I'm looking very muddy, very dirty. Look like I just rolled in a ditch, but that's the look we're going for, for our little self tanner. And I put on my little tanning outfit. This um, angle is giving me Britney Spears vibes. Have you seen all of her TikToks? Um, anyways. So got my little brown pants on, black shirt on, and we are just gonna leave this tanner all day and let it develop. But tanning is like the hardest part. I always get so hot and then I don't wanna sweat because then it like messes up the tan. So you have to try to do it quickly enough before you get hot, but also if you're doing it quickly, then you get hot and you start sweating. So it's always a struggle, but chilled out now. I was drinking ice cold water the whole time. I am gonna put some little lip mask on. I'm trying to get my lips to be less chapped because they look pretty bad right now. So going in with this Too Faced Hangover RX lip mask. Oh yeah, and I wanted to show you, I put these nails on last night, so didn't see them before, but have a little French tip. So I feel like these will look pretty with a tan. And what are the next steps we have to do? So we're gonna style my hair obviously, because as you guys saw, she's giving troll. I think I'm gonna crimp it because I haven't crimped my hair in a while. And then I want to whiten my teeth for sure. I'm gonna do that. And then I think after I wash the tanner off, I wanna do fake freckles as well. So we have a lot of steps, but really we just need to wait a little bit for the tanner. I'm not gonna do my hair yet because I know I'm gonna get hot while doing it. And like I said, can't do that quite yet. So I will check back in with you probably when we start doing the hair. All right, I feel like I've chilled a while, so I'm not gonna sweat by just doing my hair. So let's go ahead and crimp it. I'm really excited. Also, my teeth look so white because my face is so tan right now, but obviously when I wash the tanner off, my face won't be this tan. So we're still gonna whiten our teeth. Just know, I know I look like the peanut butter baby and I know I look like a jump scare. You don't have to tell me, girls. So here's the product lineup. Obviously we have our bed head Crimper. This is my favorite product ever. I literally think it's like $20. Like it's so cheap. Oh my God, I almost hit myself in the head with that. Before we start crimping it, we're gonna go in with the Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. This is a heat protectant and it also helps like prevent frizz. And then when we're done, we're gonna spray the whole thing down with Beach Waver Shine Squad. This is just a shine spray and it looks so good on. I'm also gonna try to film a TikTok of me doing my hair. So if I'm ever looking away from you guys, that's why. My hair feels literally the cleanest it's probably ever been because I didn't put any product in it after I showered. So it's very light, but it's giving troll doll. It's giving very fluff. So we're gonna fix this. So I like to do my hair in layers because she's very thick. Water break. Everyone take five sits, sits, sips of water. I took two. <laughs> Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. 
And I'm just gonna spray this on each layer of my hair before I put any heat on it. We're gonna get out our Hello Kitty brush. Um, I'm not a Hello Kitty girl. I know a lot of people are, which like, love that for you. I was obsessed with Hello Kitty when I was little, but I did buy this at TJ Maxx because it was on sale for like $2, so. Hello Kitty haul. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our crimper. This is my favorite crimper ever. It's from Amazon and it's like $20, so. This is my favorite hair tool I've ever owned, I think. Anyway, I'm just gonna crimp my hair and I want it to last until this whole weekend. So I am gonna leave it on each section for like three to five seconds. Usually I would just touch it and go if I want like a light crimp, but because I want this to last like a week, I'm gonna leave it for three to five seconds per like little section. But still, it's a pretty fast hair tool. And especially if you don't have like super long or super thick hair, I feel like you could do your hair in like less than five minutes with this tool. But anyways, there's the first crimp. Roll that back. I've been like in a curling mode with my hair recently. Like I've curled my hair the last like four times I've used heat on my hair, which is like over the past two months. But I kind of forgot about how cute crimping is. Like, isn't that so fun? Love that. Okay. Now that we're done with that little section, we're gonna go in with the Beach Waver Shine Squad. And this is just a shine spray. So we're gonna spray that all over. My hair is getting so light again. I used to have literal blonde hair. And I feel like no matter how many times we dye it dark again, the blonde always somehow peeks its way through. So I definitely am gonna have to go in and get that, get my hair dyed dark brown again. But honestly, I'm kind of liking it for fall because it's like kind of orangey and it's giving like very fall vibes. So I'm not like super upset with it. Like, isn't that kind of fun? I mean, it looks a little bad because you can see like exactly when I stopped dyeing my hair, but whatever i also have so many gray hairs right now it's not even funny i'm 26 years old why do i have so much gray hair i feel like maybe a lot of people have gray hair you just can't tell because your hair is not like black but as soon as a gray hair pops up you can see it very well against my black black slash dark brown hair so maybe i'm just an early gray grayer grayer i love crimped hair i don't know why i don't do it more often i feel like i was in a phase for a while where I would crimp my hair literally every time I would do my hair. And then I just stopped for some reason. Crimped hair does give very summer vibes, but I feel like you could do it year long, why not? Okay, last little piece. There we go. Let's spray some shine spray all over. Whoa. Okay, girls. Here it is, all crimped. I feel so good. I love the look of crimped hair and I feel like even from the back, it looks so good. So yay, crimped hair is done. What do we have next? Whitening my teeth. I'm debating on if I should wait to whiten my teeth after I take off the tanner because I'm scared when I like rinse my mouth I don't want to get like lines of water down and then I'll have two white lines here. I'll get vampire. So maybe we'll just take a break for a while from the little glow up. And I'll check in when we're gonna wash off the tan. Hey girls, I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> I have this tanner on my face. Like see where it's all dry? They're like, it's like stinking. Which I knew that happened, so I really should have like exfoliated my face before when I exfoliated my body. But we're gonna take the tanner off the face, even though it's not time to take all the tanner off, just to stop that, so. Oh, it's gonna be fine. Okay, cool. Just using this little makeup wipe to remove the tanner from my face. Ew, look at this makeup wipe, that's disgusting. Okay, I was really terrified, but now I feel a lot better. I also think I want to shape my nails because they're very like square, which is not usually the shape I go for. I usually go for coffin or like thinner squares. So let's try to follow them down. Okay, again, this is the shape of what my nails are right now. They're just too like wide for me. So I'm just gonna try to file them down make them a shape I like a little bit more. They're just giving, I don't know, toenails. And I want them to give pretty dainty fingernails. But I feel like this is gonna take forever. Okay, it's kind of hard to show you, but this is the after and that's the before. I feel like this one's prettier. Okay, I think I fixed them. They look so much better to me. They're not 
amazingly even, but I feel better. Okay, now let's hop in the shower. I'm going to wash off all this tanner and then we are gonna moisturize it like crazy. Let me show you the lotion we're gonna use. When I need to be literally soaked and moisturized so well, I will always go in with the Cetaphil. This is their moisturizing cream ultimate with prebiotic aloe. It's for very dry to dry sensitive skin and it literally soaks in so well. It doesn't have like a fun flavor. It doesn't have like a fun scent, but it is the best moisturizer I've ever tried. So we are gonna lather our skin in this. Hey, just hopped out of the shower. I'm fully lotioned up and I'm looking much less scary than before. My face is looking much more natural, a lot less like the peanut butter baby. So let's do a little bit of skincare. Again, are you guys sick of seeing this? Gonna reapply this pillow balm. And then the whole point of this is we really want our skin to be extra, extra moisturized because that'll help the tan stay longer. So I'm gonna go in this moisturizer from Clarins. This is the Multi Active Newt Niacinamide and C Holly Extract Cream. This is supposed to be like a night cream actually, but that's just because it's super, super moisturizing. So we're gonna apply it now. And like, doesn't my face look so much better than <laughs> before? I was really scared that it was just gonna leave my face looking horrible. Um, thank goodness it didn't. I just did a little scrub on my face in the shower and I definitely think it was good that I took my face stuff off before with that makeup wipe, but washing it in the shower definitely helped finish everything off. Okay, that moisturizer is blended in. And honestly, I think I'm gonna do a little eye cream. So I'm gonna go in with this Banish Instant Eye Lift. Any eye cream it has peptides, vitamin C, and squalene in it. And to make it extra, extra effective, we're gonna go in with these dough eye masks over top of it. These are just my reusable eye masks. I love these things. Gonna use this little applicator. This is from Medicube. Get a little bit of that brightening eye cream and just apply it under the eyes. And since we're doing that dough eye mask over top of it, we're not gonna blend this out all the way, obviously, so that the eye mask have something to stick to. This applicator is just nice too, cause it's stainless steel. So it feels so nice and cold under the eyes. Perfect. And then we're gonna apply our little eye mask over it. Aren't these things just so fun? I think they're just such a cool idea to have reusable eye masks. And then you just like rinse these off with lukewarm water and let them air dry and then you can reuse them next time. But I'm gonna leave those on, make sure my under eyes are extra moisturized. And then like I said, teeth aren't looking as scary white as they were before with the like crazy tanner on. So we're gonna go in and whiten our teeth. This is the Moon Whitening System. I think this system is super easy and I like it because it doesn't need to be plugged in while you're using it. So I'm just gonna grab two little whitening strips and apply it one to the top teeth and one to the bottom teeth. And then you just use this little light turn it on and it literally only takes five minutes. So I'm explaining it all before I put it in my mouth because obviously I won't be able to explain it once I have these whitening strips on. But let's do this. And then by time the whitening is done in five minutes, I'll be able to take off my little eye mask. All right. Ew, I hate the taste of that. It may taste bad and it may be annoying getting that crap off my teeth, but I feel like they genuinely look so much whiter. And let's take off our little eye patches. Gonna wash these off. And then we'll rub in the rest of that eye cream here. And then I literally just let them air dry in here. I'll just leave the lid open so that they can dry fully. I feel so good right now. I do wanna do some fake freckles, but I think I wanna do them tonight before I go to bed and then leave them overnight. So we're gonna wait on that. But for now, feeling very good. I will check in tonight when we do our freckles. I am gonna do my fake tan freckles. I always use the Tanologist Extra Dark One Hour Express Tan just because it sets really quickly and it's extra dark. So hopefully it'll still show up since my face is tanned now. But basically what I'm gonna do is just do a couple pumps of this tanner in the lid, like so. And I'm gonna do like the same idea as my Pseudolabs freckles that I do all the time with makeup. So basically this product is like a mascara wand with a product on it. And then you flick the mascara wand with this little stick to do freckles on your face. So I figured maybe the same concept will work for fake tanner freckles. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So we're figuring it out together. But basically I'm just gonna dip this eyebrow brush, which is like same vibes as a mascara brush in the tanner. And then I'll flick it with the same little stick from the Pseudolabs thing and see if it works. So we're gonna try it out together and we're just gonna go for it. I'm kind of nervous, but whatever. What's the worst that could happen? 
Okay, I'm getting off as much excess as I can, but I do wanna make sure there's product on here. Ooh, I'm kinda scared. Oh my God, it's gonna work. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, do you see that? Love it. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the ones that I don't really want. Go all of them around my mouth. Couple down here. I feel like the rest of them are pretty good. I'm so interested to see if this is gonna work. Let's do a little bit from under the eye. I feel like that's gonna be a lot. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, this is how the freckles look now. I'll check back in tonight before I go to bed and then we'll see what they look like in the morning. Actually, you know what? While we already have this stuff out, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with a fake tanner too. I have done that before. Sometimes it shows up and sometimes it doesn't, but it'll be nice if I don't have to fill in my eyebrows. There we go. Okay, perfect. Obviously they look dark now, but hopefully they look good once they're done. I'm still so in shock about these freckles. I really hope this works out. Alrighty, good morning. I just woke up and I I'm so impressed that these freckles actually worked. Let's get a makeup wipe, wipe off the eyebrows and the freckles, see if they still are there. Also, the hair is looking so good. It always like chills out a little bit after I sleep on it once, so I'm glad it's not like so puffy anymore. I'm so tired. <sighs> oh my gosh, those look perfect. Freckles too though, they're still like slightly there. Okay, I'm very impressed. I feel like that worked out so well. Anyway, taking a lot of drinks of water because I feel horrible right now. Obviously the last step of any glow up is doing my makeup and picking out a cute outfit. So let's do that. We're gonna do our makeup and I want my makeup to last literally all day and night because we're going out tonight. So we are gonna hope that this makeup goes super well. I'm gonna start out with the Refi Primer. This is their Glow and Sculpt Primer. I'm just gonna put that kind of all over the face. And then I'm gonna go in with the Plump Right Back Plumping Serum and Primer from NYX or NYX, whatever. Then we're gonna go on with a couple different foundations. Um, first, we're gonna go in with this Well People Bio Bronzing Priming Serum, um, just to give it a little bit of a less full coverage look. Um, then I'm gonna go in with this Hourglass Veil Tint, then with the Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Um, this stuff is very thick, so I would just do that, but I don't want it to be like fully covering my face because we just work so hard to put really pretty little freckles on it everywhere, so. I want some of the skin to show through. And then I'll finish it off with that L. I'm gonna go in with my Artiste brush to blend all of that out. Now we're gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use the Tarte Creamy Creaseless Concealer. This is like one of my lighter concealers, so I really wanna brighten up my under eyes here. I don't wanna put it anywhere else. I was thinking about trying to cover up this like little blemish, but I feel like if I try to cover it up, it's just gonna look worse. So I may as well just leave it alone. I know it's kind of silly that I did like all of that work with freckles and tanner and stuff on my face just to cover it up with a full face makeup. But the whole point is I wanted to still feel good when I took my makeup off. Okay, concealer's applied. Feel very good about the brightness there. Now we're gonna go in with some liquid contour. I'm gonna go in with this LYS bronzing stick. I love this thing. I'm gonna try to go a bit lighter than usual because I've been watching back some of my like content and sometimes I'm not the greatest at blending and that's embarrassing. So we're gonna really focus on blending today. Okay, kind of blended that out and now I'm gonna try to blend it even more with the foundation brush over it. Okay, now I'm just setting my under eyes with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I did a light veil of that powder all over the face just to set everything. Cause now we're gonna go in with powder products. But before we do that, I'm gonna set the face um, just to try to make sure this lasts. While I'm waiting for the face to dry off, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. They definitely are darker than usual, but not as dark as I'd like if I'm wearing like a full face. We're gonna go in with powder bronzer. 
just gonna hit all those places that we contoured before, but just do it a little bit higher. And I think I'm just gonna use the right two shades. I don't wanna do that like super crazy pink one right now. Cute. I'm gonna put a lip product on because my lips are looking a little chapped. I'm just gonna go in with one of the Tarte Juicy Maracuja lips. I'm gonna do another spray of setting spray. And I know this is a bit silly because I literally just covered up all the freckles, but we're gonna go in with my Pseudolabs freckles. Then hopefully these don't ruin my makeup. There, just at a very light amount. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. And now we'll do mascara and I think that's it for makeup. I felt like that was really quick. I haven't done like a full face in a really long time. So I was expecting that to take me forever. And we're going with this Blink tubing mascara. This is their amplified tubing mascara in the shade dark brown. Also look how cute this little hand mirror is. I found it at a thrift store. It's so perfect for in here to like match all the wicker everywhere. I have to make the back look cuter because that's what you guys are. Oh, I just touched my eyelid. I have to make the back look cuter though because that's what you guys are going to see. Perfect. 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 I'm going to wait for this to dry. No, I'm not. I'm gonna just spray it again. I'm gonna go grab a Q-tip and get off this little piece of mascara I put on my face. Wiped off that mascara and I think to finish it off, I'm just gonna do a tiny little dot of highlighter on the very tip of my nose and bridge my nose. I think that's always so pretty. And we're done with the makeup. Now we have to go pick out a cute outfit. Alrighty, you guys, we are done with our little glow up. I feel so much better than I felt waking up yesterday, which is shocking because I just started my period. So that's saying a lot if I feel good and that just happened. But here's the little outfit I picked out. I'm wearing this new top I got from Free People the other day. I think it's so cute. It like ties on the sides here. So it actually gives you a little bit more shape than normal Free People clothes. So I think that's super cute. It's also like really long in the back, which I think is fun. And then I'm wearing these little fake leather shorts from American Eagle, Air Force Ones, and my little set active socks. And I'm feeling very cutie and very glown up. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Illy.